A few days ago, I uploaded a video talking about Defy, a level designed by Freezy18. And damn, that video went pretty well. While it didn't really get outside my fanbase, outside of one exception, the video not only got about zero dislikes as of right now, but it also nearly got my most comments ever with 23 comments on the video. That's sad, I know, but my most commented on video has only four comments more than the Defy one, and that's been building up for nearly a month at this point, and the Defy video has been up for less than three days. So thanks for all the support on that, but why am I making this video? Well, let me explain. For the first time ever making one of these level review videos, the creator of said level actually found the video. GD Freezy, Defy's creator, found the video a staggering 10 minutes after its upload, which was pretty surprising to me, considering this has literally never happened before. So for a little backstory, my main gripe with the level were the bugs, which I thought were pretty level breaking. So Freezy didn't see these bugs and told me they were working on a gameplay update. I was pretty interested, and one day later, the gameplay update was released. So that's what we're going to talk about today. If I review a level and the creator then updates that level, whether it be because of my review or because of an outside force, I don't think it really does the level justice to just leave the review up without any proper explanation. So here we are presenting re-reviews. These will probably be different from my normal reviews and I might just post them on my second channel instead, but in cases like these, I feel like some reflection is necessary. So let's have a look at Defy's updated version. Is it better? Is it worse? Or is it about the same? Let's have a look. Also, by the way, I've been looking to expand my content recently, outside of just level reviews, and make other stuff relating to GD. I don't know, just tell me what you might be interested in in the comments, which is other GD stuff. Okay, so now with that trash behind us, we can get into the actual review. Oh, sorry, I meant re-review. Jump ring and therefore skip this entire jitter click segment. Definitely the biggest problem I had with the level initially was the bugs in the gameplay, as previously stated. So I was pleasantly surprised to find that all the bugs I mentioned were fixed. Freezy also changed the position of the level's first coin, instead going for adding it to the wave segment. This coin looks really hard and I don't think I could get it. Maybe there's something I'm missing? I uh, don't know, I'm bad at G. This looking at the level, which just feel, well, normal. Now, when going into this, I was just expecting the bugs to be fixed, but it kept going. The level also has visual improvements in some parts, which I felt left a bit more to be desired. While these parts aren't exactly as trippy as some other parts, they still look pretty nice and fit the general level's atmosphere. The spider section was also changed to make it so it's always in the state it's in when you get the coin. As stated in the original review, the spider part only looked trippy if you picked up the coin on the way in, but since the first coin was moved, the spider part is now always trippy. I thought this was pretty nice and I liked the little meta statement when going into this area. Ha! Only 90s kids will get this one. It was pretty shocking to me because after all, the decoration criticism was really just my opinion and didn't need fixing, but it was still pretty nice to see. It could be better. In some parts it's spot on, and in some parts it's totally disconnected. Now, Freezy didn't really change the sync in the updated version, but I'm mentioning it here just because I didn't really think I did the level justice at all when talking about the sync. I think it warrants an apology because I argued my point pretty badly. I swear I was going somewhere with that when I put it into the script, but it just didn't really work. I had two seconds worth of examples surrounding parts that had no sync, and even then there was just no sync gameplay wise, and the decoration sync with the music anyway, so I'm sorry for that part. The sync in the level in both versions is genuinely pretty good, but I'm not going to remove it from the video because I think it would kind of mess with the flow. Think about it. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Peace out, Synth Gang. In conclusion, the update definitely helped with the level's quality. Now, I don't really have any notes towards it, and I think it's pretty great all around. However, I won't move it above Acid Rush just because generally, I just like Acid Rush better. There's definitely nothing wrong with the Defy, but what it does do could be done better. No need for an update or anything, because that's really just my opinion, and it doesn't demand an update at this point in time. I still love the level, but it isn't as good as Acid Rush to me. If I ever do another re-review, it'll be on my second channel, so be sure to subscribe to that if you want to see more than these. I don't know. Bye. Thanks for watching. So pretty, 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 so pretty,